What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be reviewing the Bomar Monastery Assault Battle Pack. This is a pretty cool battle pack and this is actually my first ever battle pack. So let's go ahead and look at the packaging. We move these guys out of the way right quick. And this comes in the standard 2008 Star Wars The Clone Wars Battle Pack packaging. Let me move the camera just a tad there. Sorry about that. You got nice Star Wars The Clone Wars here. Battle Packs, Bomar Monastery Assault. And you can see in the background, they're like kind of in the sky. And actually, once you open the packaging and kind of you could see it kind of has layers right there. Which looks really cool. Like layers to the... Um, <clears throat> The uh, mountain or like the air or not the clouds and same thing on the sides here on the back you got a nice little description a nice picture of the uh, <clears throat> battle pack there the staps and an anakin and the battle droid a little description we could read which it says job of the hut's kidnapped son is being held in a bomar monastery built on top of a steer sheer cliff anakin begins the difficult ascent up the cliff with battle droids firing down on him and droid Piloted steps, racing into combat laser cannons, blasting casualties are mounting, so Anakin makes a daring move. He leaps into the air to take command of a step and dispatches battle droids with his lightsaber, clearing a path to the summit. You got a nice little description on the battle droid. Battle droids on foot and on steps mount an aggressive defense against the attacking Republic forces in the step. Single trooper aerial platform vehicles are piloted by battle droids. They are used mostly for patrol re reconnaissance and combat in a little Anakin Skywalker bio. During the assault of the Stap Mesa, during oh, what am I? During the assault of the Mesa, Anakin leaps into onto a Stap or throws the bio droid from the vehicle and races up the sheer wall. So yeah, that's it with the packaging. Let's go ahead and look at the figures. So here are both figures. Figures you get Anakin Skywalker and a reg, uh, nice B1 battle droid. So let's go ahead and look at the battle droid first. So as you can see, I think I want to say he is a different uh, shade of whatever color the battle droids are. And then he also does have like um, some battle damage on him as well, which is really nice. You know, he looks pretty good. And then he does have this um, electricity wrap, like he's probably just been damaged or cut and about to be cut in half by Anakin and he does have these um different types of four arms because as the regular ones these are actually moves like his arms like instead of like instead of like this they're like this to hold on to the stab and his hands are actually a different mold to hold on to the stab which is really nice so it's, and he does come with one accessory, which is his backpack, which, as you can see, there, there's some more weathering and stuff, battle damage. And it also is a little weathered as well. The whole figure is a little weathered, which is nice. And then it just goes on a peg. So for the articulation, you have a nice ball joint on him, which is really nice, just like the regular battle droid. Up, down, tilt, tilt. You know, you can't really complain with this head. He does have ball joints in the shoulders, which, you know, don't really get the greatest range of motion. But, you know, it works enough for the bow droid. does have hinged elbows, which get a really nice range of motion forward and backwards. And then that's it in the arms. Uh, like, it has a torso cut here, which, you know, gets good range of motion. Just kind of cuts up the um, build of the figure. And this whole um, electricity thing is removable because it is just wrapped on as you can see and you can see like more battle damage which looks really nice which we'll take a look at in a little bit and then in the legs he just has swivels and it doesn't really hinder it too much because it kind of just moves out the way a little bit and it kind of comes unwrapped a little bit that's also because i started unwrapping it to see if it was removable and it is of course but like um yeah so it kind of comes off a little bit now not necessarily but yeah let's go and look at some of his details you know he doesn't have much going on besides the battle damage and the weathering which just looks really good i'll just give you a nice little glance of it there's his arm once again has some black on it his leg his right leg is pretty pretty heavily weathered which looks really really nice he still has some of that um rubber band on him and then, yeah, he's just a really nice figure. So let's go ahead and look at Anakin Skywalker because that's the one I'm a little bit more excited about because this is my definitive 
like early Clone Wars Anakin. So let's go and look at his articulation. Or his one accessory actually. He does come with um just a regular Anakin Skywalker lightsaber. I'm gonna just keep this rubber band on him just so he could always be holding it. But you can see the details on it. And he does have a ball joint in the head which could look up, down, tilt, tilt. So actually the torso is the same for the torso and above is this regular as a single carded release. So ball hinge shoulder with a swivel, ball hinge elbows with a swivel, and the wrist slash forearm swivel as well. And the waist swivel as well. But the great thing about this Anakin Skywalker, he has soft soft goods, which look really good. He has the blue layer and then the brown layer for his like robe piece. And this is like his camera piece. And then the and then he does have swivel hips, which get a really nice range of motion because of the soft goods. And look at this, guys. Look at this. For Anakin Skywalker, ball hinge knees. Ball hinge knees with a swivel. And they get a decent range of motion. Like, why couldn't they just do this with the regular Anakin? I don't know why. The single card to release? I don't know. And look at this. Even better. Ball hinge ankles with a swivel, of course. Like, Dude, like, why couldn't they just do that with the right single card in Anakin release? I will not know. I, I genuinely will not know. So if we look at some of his details, he is just the regular Anakin Skywalker, you know, from the single card release. He doesn't look bad, you know, as a Jedi insignia right there on his shoulder. You know, nothing really to complain about this guy. Um, honestly, all my complaints from the mm, original Anakin <clears throat> is fixing this guy. The soft goods look great. They feel great. They do great. Maybe the, the the coloration is a little different, obviously. It's not the same exact color, but honestly, that's not really cutting anything for me with this figure. This guy is pretty much perfect, in my opinion, for the, you know, scale and whatnot. And, I mean, obviously, they could have made it better, but for what we got, this is the definitive Anakin Skywalker in this look for me. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, he does have a little um little misprint miss paint there, but that's okay. Um this guy I don't know how many times this guy was released, so let's just go ahead and let's take a look at the staps. So we're only gonna look at one of the staps just because they are the exact same mold and um print or, or paint, I believe. I think this mold uh, might be like the original, maybe like 1990s mold or the Revenge of the Sith mold. I'm actually not sure, but they, there's nothing wrong with it. It's really nice. Um, so let's look at the one play feature it has here, which <clears throat> it has this um, these shooters here. You can either activate them by using this foot pedal or the stand that comes with. The stand is removable, um, so you can either push on this right here and it'll shoot, or you can. Um, tilt this and it'll shoot so if you just tilt it it will shoot and i kind of just accidentally shot my ps5 um as y'all can see ps5 right there <laughs> so yeah yeah so that's the one play feature let's go ahead and look at some of his details i just really love the paint job it has some nice weathering it looks really really good in my opinion it has some nice scuffs in it um, just everything looks really good with this thing. It feels good. It feels nice. The quality is nice. Get the nice Separatist logo there. The, like, I don't know. The tra I don't think it's Trade Confederation now. It's, like, actually a Separatist. I know they changed it from Episode 1 and Attack of the Clones and whatnot. But, yeah, it just looks really good. I love all the, the weathering and the paint detail. It just looks really good. The pegs for the, um... The uh, figures there and whatnot. And yeah, what you do is push this in and then it would it activates the foot pedal as you can see. So yeah, that's kind of the way to use the play feature. So let's go ahead and get the final verdict. So do I recommend this battle pack? Yes, I do recommend this battle pack. And it's honestly pretty inexpensive for a Clone Wars battle pack. Brand new, this will run you about $40. That's kind of what I got mine for actually. And you know, yeah, maybe not be it might not be worth it in like today's money, but for the Clone Wars, I'll take it. You know, these things are just expensive. Anakin here, he's really great. He's honestly great. If you could just get him single, just like by himself, and you don't want the stab and the battle, the stabs and the battle droid, 
definitely do that. He's not that expensive either. Great with the knees, the soft goods, the ankles, and then obviously the top portion is pretty good as well. Battle Droid, you know, there's nothing too special about the Clone Wars Battle Droids. They're pretty inarticulated. But honestly, it's a pretty good battle droid, and if you really like the CIS or the or the Separatists, you know, what I'm, you know what I mean? Definitely pick it up. I mean, you get two stabs. You could put a different battle droid on here or have this little scene from the Clone Wars, you know, the Clone Wars movie, which is awesome. His feet actually really don't go into the pegs as well, so he's kind of just holding on to the handles there. But, yeah, you just it's a, it looks really nice, in my opinion. I just really, really, really... Um, love this set so definitely pick it up with that Th thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video and want to see more videos like this one don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe peace out